Hello everyone, welcome to episode 87 of Wool is the Answer. I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. Um, and it is absolutely pouring down here. Have you got rain? No! Oh, Honestly, it's given heavy rain all day and it's like spit spotted a few times and that is it. Well, it's July the 30th, did I say that? Who knows, I can't even remember two seconds ago. It definitely didn't, but it definitely is. 2021 and um yeah we just had a downpour here i don't think we've had it as bad as um i know the storm's moving up isn't it the storm's moving up did you see i did a bit of a weather person's thing the storm is moving up the country um those poor people in tents in cornwall yeah it is it's been not brilliant end to july but no i've been Pitching and pottering around all day thinking, I need to get out. Oh, it, it's come dark, it's going to rain, then it's past. So it will chuck it down this afternoon, but um, I'm still in my shorts, so it's not cold. Well, I keep going from T-shirt to, I keep putting my cardigan on because it keeps getting a bit cool and then, um, yeah. But I mean, I can't, I wanted to go out for a walk, but I hurt my toe, so I'm just being a bit pathetic at the minute. I think I... I walked into the radiator the other day on the pipe and I think I've broken my little toe. But it's the bruising that's worse. It's just, and it's worse underneath my foot. It's all black. It'll be fine. Just means I can't. Trouble is I'm having to try and walk on it because if I don't, I'm going to end up me, me, I'm getting cramp in my muscle, which is pathetic. So I'm having I, to stretch them. I did two of mine and I found that my work boots were the best thing for it. Well, when I had my trainers on yesterday, they weren't too bad when I had them on. But then I obviously banged my foot when I was walking and then it moved inside my trainer. So it was like in a different position. And then when I took it off, it was completely black. But anyway, oh, happy days. Oh, you see, it's wherever, well, not everywhere, but not everywhere but your garden, obviously. Lots of different places. So at the minute, it's just, we're, we're dry here. But yeah, wet all around the country by the looks. Although that's all northish. Yeah, it is. It's all north northish. North. Apart from Victoria, who's very northish. Yes. Very <laughs> in a different continent. Yes. Very northish. I think it's nice weather there, Victoria. Um yeah, I would think it's it's probably better than here, but Anyway, you know. Anyway, let's crack on. Let's crack on before we get a thunderstorm and we lose complete connection with the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some exciting news. We may as well start off with it, haven't we? Go on, then. I pressed the button. I wish I had David Beckham tours, Jane. Yeah, anyway. Um, We've pressed the button. It's live now, our Christmas... Um. Bonanza, shall we call it that? It's our offerings for Christmas. Oh, uh, oh. Advent. <laughs> Christmas. It, and um, we've called it um, the December Detective Collection. Bit of a clue. Bit of a clue. Um, so I can, I can talk about it now because I've been like, So, um, yes. So we've released it today. This is what we're doing for Christmas. We're not doing the typical advent calendar, as we've said. Um, but um, do you want to explain what's in it? Or... Well, you've got, we've called it the December Detectives because it's going to go out at the end of November. Yes. But you can use it when you like. But you will have 12... Yes. 20 gram minis. Yes. And... Like we've done before, you can have them on different bases. Marie's got it all written down. I have. You can have them all on sock, four ply. Yes. Sparkle, four ply. All on double knit, sock. Yes. And that they're all completely different. So they'll, um, the, obviously there's a theme to it. We're not going to tell you what it is, but they are de a detective theme. You know that me and Dominique like our cheesy detective novels yes. and movies. Um, so that's the theme of it. Um, so there is like 12, so you can treat it if you want to as a 12 days of Christmas, open them separately. 
Um, they will all be individually wrapped. They'll be in a presentation. Um, yeah. But we've also got some other goodies to put in to put in with it as well. Um, so you will, as usual, it's becoming a bit of a tradition of us now, isn't it? The wonderful Melly from Rick Rack Rooms is design, is designing us a special um, project bag to go with it. That you won't be able to get anywhere else. You won't get anywhere else. And again, you will have the option. So not only do you have your option of um, which base you want it on, you also have an option again of zip or drawstring because we know we can't decide on that. So, you know. Um, so if you're going to have it, you might as well have the one that you prefer. Exactly. Mine will be drawstring as usual. No doubt. Mine, don't mine will definitely be zip. Although the drawstring that we got for the retreat is lovely. Yeah. Zip. Um, but so, yeah, it, if you want to do it day by day and it'd be a surprise every day, you can do that. Um, but it's not like an advent calendar that we're going to open one a day. We will be knitting with them, I would think. So there'll be spoilers along the way. Um, but if you want to, if you get it and you want to open them all at once and then decide what you're doing, that's entirely up to you. But if you've got not, a good quantity of wool there, you've got 240 grams of yarn. Um, and so you get your project bag, you get a choice of your um, opening, fastening, whatever you want to call it. Um, you also get the obligatory sweeties. You know, it wouldn't be a Christmas event thing without sweeties. Oh. You'll also have themed stitch markers, which we did have a bit of fun with, didn't we? Choosing what the themed stitch markers would be. Yeah, we did. And a quiz. You're getting a little quiz involved as well. Because, it, because it's December and, you know, we all like... We just all like little treats throughout yeah. December, don't we? Yeah. Or, you know, if you want it as a Christmas present, yes, put it on your Christmas wish list, then you've got it to, to open and actually knit as if it was the 12 days of Christmas. Exactly. So it's giving you an option that if you want to treat it as a bit of an advent calendar, you can treat it as an advent calendar, but we just wanted to do something a little bit different this year. Yeah. Um, so, um, so you'll know know the quantities you'll know what there's 12 20 grams so go and find your projects get your get looking now yeah started looking i can't decide what i'm going to do with mine no. there's a lot of wool there so i don't know what i'm going to do i might do a couple of projects but yeah um you can do as you want with it so hopefully you will have fun so it will be a mystery you won't know what's coming but you've got the theme it's a mystery mystery detective mystery is a mystery mystery um, um, so that is that is the christmas thing that's gone live today so um again we've got limited numbers on it um and it will be dispatched out so you receive it towards the end of november so it'll be sent out probably mid-november um so we won't really have it um in stock for long um uh but yeah it's limited we just limited the numbers because it's easier for us to to work well, out the amount we need, of stuff we need to order beforehand. Yeah, we need to let Melly know for bags yeah. and things like that and just getting everything sorted. So, um, and again, those of you who, again, we're not shipping at the minute to the EU um, only because of the difference in customs, the prices and things. If you do want, if you are in the EU, I mean, by all means, contact us and we will give you a price for how much it is going to cost because you will have to be responsible for the um, taxes and things in your country. We'll see if we can work it out, but we do know from other people it's been quite expensive, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, but again, anybody who's not in the EU, um, as usual for any of you will just drop us a line, drop us an email and we work out the different price options for you for um, postage. Um, yeah. We do that quite a lot. So um, yeah. But I, I, I know um, those that you had it either in America or Canada, we can probably get yours posted out at the beginning of November yeah, to, to make sure. spend the economy. So to make it slightly cheaper, because we know it takes longer to get yeah. there. So um, yeah, we can work around that. We could we so can. we've got meeting while everyone yeah. else gets theirs, but yeah, uh, we can we can yeah. work it around. Um, the December The December detectives. I mean, we were trying to get a bit carried away at one point. Well, when I say we, I mean me as usual. 
you know, we did have all sorts of ideas, which we might look at another year, mightn't we? We just have been um, busy this year, different things we could incorporate into it. Um, I think what we've come up with is, is we've had real fun. Yeah. Doing it, and we I have. think enjoy it. Yeah, I think you will as well. I think we were just getting slightly ahead of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were trying to think that we could, like, create a, a whole game in, you know, like, a short space of time, which, yeah, we probably need a little bit longer for that. <laughs> you know, you can only you can only work with what you've got sometimes, Dominique, can't you? And together we make a whole person, but sometimes we don't even make half a person, do we? But we are really, it's really... Fab. We're really excited with it, and, yeah, we know you'll love it, so... Right, yeah. so that's Christmas, which seems bizarre, doesn't it? But it is technically still July, so Christmas in July. Christmas mug out. While we're talking of Christmas, I have a bit, I went down a rabbit hole on Pinterest. As we know, I was talking about my giant candy canes last, last yeah. week. Pool noodles. Yes. Pool noodles, maybe the way forward. Red pool noodles with white tape on. Yes. To the side. Sparkly lights. Yes. But you could just get more than one and, like, get, put four or five so you've got the... Yeah. I could just uh, have lots of them. Conference. You just could have lots of them, couldn't I? That seemed the best option. Pool noodles. Anyway. I just thought I'd fill you in on that because I know you've all been sat there thinking, what, you know, what am I going to yeah. do? How am I going to make giant candy canes? There you go. But I think your pool noodles or your drain pipes are the same. Yeah. One of the ones. I was a it's, fun. It's the way to. It's the way to go. It's definitely the way to go. So. So I've, I've just got. I've got sidetracked. See, Victoria saying it is beautiful there, but it's been horrible for the most of the month. So we're not the only ones in the UK yeah. having. The weather just seems to have gone bonkers, doesn't it? Yeah. Like shorts, yeah. jumpers, Wellington boots. So Westers, flip-flops. Anyway. Yeah. But, you know, there we go. Um, so what have you been knitting? Well, I've been knitting on things that I can't show you, which is going to be a bit rubbish for my made in July. Because a lot of the things I finished in July, I can't show you till August. Right. So well, I, have, I have been busy, but I can't show you some. But I can show you a new cast on. You'll be able to show some of it, though, won't you? I can show some of it, yes. Yeah. Yes, I can't show you things I've finished. It just looks like I've done nothing in July, but I have been working. I just can't show them. So maybe yeah. I just need to show, like, seven I think photos. It, it could be go on, you finished in July, but you don't show all of it, and then you know you finished it in July, and then it goes in August as well. Or I just have a rubbish month in July and just shove it all in August, so it looks but like I've been busy. It's not about quantity. There are sometimes you don't have anything. So don't feel, people, that you need to be... I have will have definitely one item that will be finished in July. Well, before you... I can you show you that. I can show you that. That will be finished in July. Go on, then. It's a bit of a cop-out because it will be one sock. I literally am at the kitchener. I haven't done its pair yet, and there'll be no way I'll get that finished before the 1st of August. No, but that is... A sock is better than nothing. I mean, for Dobby, all he wanted was one sock to be released. So that's me. That's I'm going. Dominique's looking vacant because she had no idea what I'm talking about. Those Just Harry right. Potter people out there. Oh, I was about to say it was um, The Hobbit and then I realised it was probably Harry Potter. Sue, is it your birthday coming up? Who knew? I mean, who knew? Who knew? So I, I just need to kitchener it um, and then that will be finished. So, so that's my um, Phoebe ones, aren't they? That's my Phoebe ones. Yes. So, um, well, the I'm other one are behind it. No, it won't if I, if I crack on, but I am still busy working on things that I can't disclose. You know, I just like to be a secret script. Oh. Huh? 100 degrees on Wednesday, 70 degrees today, and then tornadoes. I mean, God. Oh my God. The world's just gone mad anyway. Us. Have you got what what have you I mean I have got things that I've cast on and other things, but that was that was I've, I've got a finished in July. Oh <gasps> come on. Da, 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 da. Oh. I mean you you can't see that at all, can I you? I haven't even got that wool out the bag yet. 
Beautiful. Can, oh, you can. Can you see the? You can see pattern. the pattern. Yeah, that's beautiful. So they are my Hong Kong socks that just finished just in time for the next month's sock to come out. I really, really like these. I mean, it, that has been hard going. I've had to concentrate because it's a 32 row repeat and every row is different, but I've really, really enjoyed it. And I've just loved the way that the yarns knit up. Looks really nice. I'm still, I, I'm not sure what to do with mine. I think I might go like Caroline did with a, with a um, I might try sock set, uh, sock set. What's the word? Sure. Well, you can can do, but yours is only 50 grams. No, it isn't. I've got 100 grams. Ah. I got the 100 gram one that I snapped. Ah. Oh, you definitely will be able to. So this, who are we, who was saying it the other night? About their socks that they'd done. Claire. It, of course it was. It was Claire. Um, I weighed these, Claire. So... These are quite long for me, longer than I would normally knit. And that, that pair of socks is 62 grams. That's really good. So, and Claire's got 100 grams. So, I mean, I, I didn't weigh what I'd got left, but there was 70 grams, but there wasn't because there's normally a bit more. That's amazing out of a 50 gram. So I've got 50 gram and 20 gram. That's amazing. So, you definitely get two pairs out of a um, sock set, a 100 gram sock set. And Claire's done contrasting toe heel and cuffs for the first pair. You're not going to get them all out, but you'd probably get your yeah. toe or something out of it. And you would then get a shorter pair. Uh, Claire's doing them cuff down, but if you did them toe up two at a time, just keep knitting until you run yeah. out. Compare. Yeah, perfect. Or, like we said, put another contrast colour. Yeah, definitely. 62 grams, and they are a long pair of socks. They're really nice, those. Really nice. So, um, Lynn? Yeah, 15 grams left, I would think. Yeah, that's good. Go in my stash. Lynn's just said it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Lynn. Happy birthday! Yay! Happy birthday. And that's a real birthday today, not it's my birthday soon. Yeah, it's not like Sue, whose birthday seems to have been going on for, I don't know, weeks and weeks and weeks. I mean, I do it the other way. When I've had my birthday, my last after my birthday, that's I mean, how mine goes. You should count down to your birthday. But, Lynn, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lynn. Um, um, so, yeah, there are the Hong Kong socks finished in our Trivial Pursuit. And I really, really like them. I can't wait to see what you do with the um, mousetrap ones when you... When you well, the mousetrap will be um, not this month. That will be... September. September. So I don't know what I'm going to knit for the... I don't know what I'm, yarn I'm going to use for August. I don't know what country we're going to yet, but... Um, well, I was rummaging through project bags, so I've still got me... I've got that one to use. Yes. For, um, to be pursued. Still got me retreat yarn. I haven't done anything with. I've still got all the purchases I made from Yorkshire Yarn Fest. I mean, I'm just ending up with a bigger stash than. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to. I might, I'm looking, I might use the botanical yarn. I'm going to wait and see the patterns come out and see yeah. what the pattern is before I decide what I'm going to do with it. But, um, but talking of project bags, rummaging through project bags. Just they took me nearly a month, so I've only just got them ready, and I'm not sure. I'm keeping... But you have had other knitting on the go, haven't you? So you've been, have... yeah, you have been doing other stuff, and you have been working. I can't fall behind now. I've got five months in. I'm determined not to fall. I mean, I, I didn't even get one pair of the twelve nights at the nights at the movies done. I mean, I've got like two years worth of knitting to get. It's yeah. not a good job. I can't do. You know, I, I'm going to have to sit with my foot up, I think. You know, it's my excuse. I mean, I, this week, because it's been really miserable weather, I've been sat in my car at lunchtime and I like a superintendent's walk past and I've just been sat there knitting them socks. And I thought, they must just think, what is she doing? But I don't care. I just sat in the car knitting at lunchtime, making sure I got them done. So, guy's done evil. Oh, well done, Caroline. She's got a mosaic done. Well done. Good, good, good. good. 
Um, talking of project bags. Talking of project bags, yes. No, I can't, I'm not sure who I can blame on this one, but it was on one of the knitting natters and um, I'd looked and seen that Melly had a sale on and then somebody else mentioned that they'd bought one. So I just had to have a look and then it all went wrong from there. I think it was Caroline. Let's I think blame I'm blaming, let's blame Caroline. So my sale one that I got, look at that. That, that's isn't, the retreat one. Isn't that beautiful? That's the retreat one, isn't it? No, it's not a retreat one. The retreat one is all people oh, no. doing yoga and things. This that's is sewing machines and it's all sewing related. I mean, do you need a pair of glasses? They look nothing. I mean, the colours are the same, but they don't. The colours are the same. You're right. I didn't look at the. You didn't look, did you? No. Oh, eyes just... engaged. Mouth engaged before eyes. I just kept looking, thinking that looked. That is very, very nice. I love the contrasting colour. Oh, I can um, see the box different. Look at the. You get a little. I got little buttons on it. Oh, they're nice. Um, I've got pencil. Got is pencil. it? A String. Got pencil. Um, it, is it a drawstring? Of course it's a drawstring. Oh, so that, that arrived. That is very nice. You're all not going to be happy with me about this. Look what I've got. I said to Melly, can you make me a denim one? I mean, poor Melly, it got a bit silly. I still remember when we had the conversation with her, she said she had some pink denim, so I went, yes, lovely, I'll have some pink denim. Yes. She didn't have any pink denim. So then she went trying to source it, couldn't find any. She ended up dyeing some that she had. Go on, let's have a look. It's like a lilac. That's it, I mean, it is absolutely... That is really, really beautiful. nice. I love, I mean, you can, so you can, if I say, can you see, you can see all the different shades in it. <gasps> That's very you. That is very, very I you. I love it. Never mind that. Look at the inside. Because of course with the bigger bags you get. I mean, she's gone all out purple. She's gone all out purple for me. My favourite colour, purple. So the inside is purple. I can't. The oh, it's inside all purple. I mean, even inside your inside pocket, it's purple. I mean, the attention to detail. We say this every flipping time, don't we? I love it. So you want to know what's in here, don't you? Yes. What's in there? This is uh, your new song. This in here. So this will give you a bit of a clue. Mark the Wensleydale Long Wool Sheep Shop. Oh. Now I can see, yeah. Jumper. I mean, not a jumper. Cast on. I, I just need to make an apology. It wasn't Caroline, it was Lisa. All right. I'm we, sure take, you... we take it back, Caroline. Caroline, Caroline it wasn't you, Lisa. Right. Never with Rick Rack Room. So now, as I said last week, I'm doing the non a jumper. I've run it a different colour scheme and I'm not following the pattern in as much as I'm not doing it from bottom up, I'm doing it top down. The opposite way round. Look at this. <gasps> I am loving it. And you, uh, you, you've changed the neckline to the one on the picture, albeit there is instructions for that neckline. Yes, yes. so there is a pattern version for a low neckline. Um, yeah. So that... that fab. I'm loving the colours. I'm trying to get it so that you can see it better because it's curling up because of the... There, that's better, isn't it? So I've just, I'm just halfway through it. This is like the halfway mark of the... Yeah. Um, I'm loving the colour choices I've gone for. I hope you've improved, Kath and uh, Helen. Um, it looks like navy, just... It looks like navy, just the bit that's flopping forward, you can see it's teal. But on the... That's the actual... I mean, it's... The light because I've got the main light on because it's really dark here. So it is a teal. Let me see if I can try and get it. No, it's not showing it properly, is it? But you can see more. It is teal because it looks navy, but it's not. Yeah, it's, no, it's not. It's teal. Yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. really, really happy with it. 
So I haven't done much on that. I think I cast that on last Friday. You'd, you'd cast it on for last week? Yeah. And I think I did this on um, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Yes, because you were showing us your swatch last week. Yeah. So yes. I think I, I haven't worked on it all week. So it literally was just a little bit of last weekend. Um, so I'm loving it. Really, really pretty. Really? So in my special, that is in my special bag because I can keep my um, contrasting wool in the zip base, which is all padded. I mean, they're all, you can see it's all um, quilted. Yeah. Um, these are special order. If anybody does go on Melly's Rick Rack Room site and wants the denim bags, uh, she generally does them to order because there's some on the website, but then she generally does them to order. I mean, poor Melly, it's, she'll get fed up of us, wasn't she? I think as soon as they go on the website, they disappear. They do them in really small quant quantities, they disappear so quickly. So, um, so big. Don't wait, don't wait. I mean, we're saying this, uh, she's getting ready to move house, so, but don't wait, just send her a message. And if she can, she'll do them as soon as she can. So that's I mean, in context, that's the like normal drawstring, which is big. Yes. They like, you know. Lisa had got eight. Carry human head in there, especially one my size, couldn't you? Well, but Lisa had got 800 gram cakes in there. I mean, you've got more than enough for a proper big jumper yeah. quantity. Yeah. And Kathy uses hers as a bag. I, you know, you quite easily use that as a, a, yeah. a bag, wouldn't you? But, um, yeah, you would. When the colour came, I was over the moon because I do like purple. Purple is my favourite colour. You did say to her, didn't you? Pink or purple, whatever yeah. you want. And she went over, above and beyond. Do you know what I mean? She dyed that. I mean, for heaven's sake, I would have been happy. But I was absolutely over the moon. So thank you so much, Melly. Yes. Yeah, that is, um, yeah. And it's got a fab project in it. So I'm happy, happy all, all the way around. Yeah. I mean, I'm nowhere near casting my After the Rain on, but mine will go in my big bag because yeah. it's just perfect for it but um i'm a little way off casting that on yet <laughs> like i i hope to have it cast on by the end of august uh, yeah the end of august the end of next month got a lot of dying to do recent soon so i know you'll be busy I, it's fine it's fine Right, do you want to see something I have been working on? Yes, please. I mean, oh, wrong one. Caroline's already told us she's finished the mosaic and she was a long way behind, but this is our make along. So if you're not there and if you don't want to look, look away. Look I'm gonna, away. I'm going to show you clue three not finished. <gasps> Dominique. But I've got until Monday. Yes, so, we'll let you off. Um, <clears throat> it is nearly done, but I have got quite a bit of it done. Lovely. There we go. There, really nice. clue three. So, I, I mean, I know these are my colours. I just love them together. I really do. Um, and they just look... Oh, I think they look different in the mosaic than they do in the... Hold stuff. yours there and I'll put mine, because mine, may as well show them at once and then they're in the in the thing. So I've, I've, I've finished my mosaic. I'm doing the double knit version one now, so I'm really caught up. So that's it in double knit. I'm um, not... I mean, it's I, this is like... Yeah, you, I mean... It, it's huge already, and I'm I'm just loving it. Look, be a meter and a bit long so far. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm. I mean, and I've got like another section. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, it's so what? It's it's your fault, Rachel. For I was it, desperate to do it in double it, and do you know what? I love knitting it in four ply. I've enjoyed it even more in the double knit. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, I think I do fancy doing one in Aaron at some time. I'll just add it to the list. But um, so I, they're together. That's on a double knit version, and that's a four ply. And we keep. I mean, you can see it really does 
narrow and curly yeah. bit, but yeah. there's so much stretch in it with being with it being mosaic, so it will block. And and I I was mentioning um and just I mean look, even the back looks yeah, it looks neat because I blocked the other one and and I was saying to um. On, I think I can't remember what one of our knitting letters I was saying. So when I blocked it, because the others is the other sections are quite stretchy anyway, aren't they? So this time when I blocked one, I um, I literally just pinned the mosaic bit, and I laid the rest out, and I just um, pulled it and left it damp because the mosaic was the one I didn't want to pull everything else because the first time I did it, I pulled everything else, and then I had to re-wet it. So I literally just pinned the mosaic and left the mosaic pinned, but everything else was laid out stretched it a little bit by hand and it's worked out much much better um, yeah yes yeah, so, i mean we'll say when we come to it but when you come to block it start with your mo wet it all pin your mosaic and then yeah. just getting else in line yeah. but um mm. i am nearly there so i will be it will the mosaic will be finished for clue for release on monday the last one just, i just might have the stripes left to do on tuesday but that's fine. Um, I will have it finished on yep. time. It's just been a big slog this last fortnight, so we're there. I'm nearly, nearly there. So if you were looking away, you can look back now. It's gone. Yes. So we've, uh, we've, we've done that. Um, we'll talk very briefly retreat. Um, we mentioned last week, so the November 1, November, this year's November, 2021 November, date is all sold out. We've got one room left on the March 2022. Yes. Um, it's a twin room. Um, so we've got one twin room left at the minute. Yeah. Um, so we, we'll see. We, we're going to leave it just for a couple of days to see if it sells the twin room. And if not, if people want two singles, then we can. We can we, we've got room to play with that we might then release two singles for it. But we've only got two spaces left, basically. So it's either in a twin or two single people um, yes. in two separate rooms. Oh, I mean, but, it doesn't make sense. But we've got, there's a lot fewer twins. Yes. Uh, every, everyone's in a single occupancy. So that's why we've left that one, because it's easier later down the line to make that two singles than yes. if someone wants to yes. come share. So we um, literally have space for two people left on the March retreat yes um and we have spoken to Sean about some of the dates but we'll talk about those um next week or the week week after um we just need to sort things out in our mind before putting too many things on the website yes um, but like we said before we are definitely aiming for um a retreat date in March and a retreat date in November that's what we're looking for with potentially one or two depending on demand in between that um but we'll just have to wait and see we need to just look at figures and we need to look at dates and things so yes but yeah. Dominic does have to work you know it's a bit you know no good yeah. is it no and good. It a really really horrible week this week so um there's yeah there's not been a great deal of time to do anything else but I've got a long weekend off. You've got a long weekend off. That's thunder. So, yeah. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh. Evil. Have you got anything else to show us? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Have I frozen for you? Because you've just frozen for me. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you've just frozen. I, I was just, I paused and listening and. Oh, I, thunder. That's thunder. We so, might need a big along because any minute now, if it's we've both lost power in the last couple of storms we've had. I lost it for, and then you lost it, and then so if we get cut off, I think we've done the majority of the things we needed to cover. But yeah, um, if we get cut off, we get cut off. Sorry, because it's um, it did uh, the storm on Wednesday. Uh, the power went out three times, and then the one on Thursday was absolutely fine. Yeah, you so, broke again, so it's obviously causing now issues. Now Marie's frozen again, so yeah, I'm not... Who issues? Who knows? So, well, keep going, no, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I don't know who it is that's freezing. I've we got one... Are. 
I've got one more thing to show you. This oh. is what last weekend, or I say last weekend, I think probably last Friday night, um, after asking you all your advice about yes. emerald or yes. olive, it was really strange because um, we'd spoken about swatching and then we realised that swatching was out of the question. So Lisa suggested just wrapping it around the card. Yes. As soon as I wrapped it around the card, I thought, well, it, olive, it, uh, the olive is the only way to go. And I put it up on social media and nearly everybody said emerald. And I just thought, well, I, I can't believe that because the emerald didn't look right. But I asked you and I've gone with emerald. And I'm still not convinced, but... Well, you see, I liked it on... Oh, I like that. I think it's the right tone for me. It's not necessarily... It's the right tone. Of, it's the same as the pink tone. Yeah. Well... If I, you're I, sure, though, Dominic, if you don't like it... No, I do like it. I do like it. And I've got another couple of these increase rows with the bobbles. When I get to the lace then I might go something completely different. Yes. I want to put my shawl. I was just about to say, you don't have to do the lace in the green. Yeah. You can do yeah. it in any... But I'm really liking that shawl. I think I might have to knit one of those. I love it. it. it is I love lovely. their patterns. I was so determined just to get to this first row of bobbles. And they are, like, proper... Um, I mean, it's a stitch I have never done before. Yeah, they're nice. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. We did bobbles on them. My sister's favourite things had bobbles in. But this, but not like this. It's a different, different bobble stitch. Right, it's sorry. Different bobble stitch. It's, um, I can't even remember. I did it last week. Yeah. Really effective. Lovely. I've done bobbles before, but not like this. So um, I am really, really enjoying it. they just, I knew I wanted that pink as that, they look like it's a really nice pattern. I think I'm that might have to be what I use one of my um either the retreat yarn or the I really like that pattern. Her patterns are just lovely, aren't they? Casapinka. Oh, I mean, I was quite disappointed because you did tell me I'd have ticky boxes and there are definitely no ticky boxes. Oh. But um yeah. So thank you everyone for your comments. It's really strange because doing that um Cheat swatch. I thought, why didn't I do that before? I wouldn't have asked the question because I'd have just gone straight away with the olive. But I am pleased. It does look in these. Um, the, it's the increase rows. They do look really nice. Yeah, just look really nice. Really. But cool. I, um, I. I mean, I'm up nearly at three hundred stitches, and I did one. I just have to keep taking it out and putting it back because I didn't read the pattern properly. So it's like. <laughs> Knit three, purl four, knit three, purl four, seven times, knit three, purl two, repeat. And I just... I Got carried away. I missed the... a little bit at the end. So then I took it back. Then I'd read it... Oh, I was absolutely... You shouldn't do things when you're tired and you need to concentrate. But anyway, I'm there. I've not knit on it for a week, but like it because what color's the base of the multicolored i mean now it is absolutely chucking it down what is the base what's that is it silver or natural it, it's silver because that might look nice for the lace depending on what comes before it oh, oh nice yeah. yeah i i think what's it next to what's the lace section next to Lay section is next to just a garter stitch by the looks of it. Now what colour? Well, now there's a thing. Because I'd spent, oh, 20 minutes working out my colours so that the dots that I'm just about to do were in navy with the pink. I worked it backwards. But I worked it out wrong because... The pink should not have been there. Yeah, but I like it. So you're oh, just going to go with it. So you're just going to no, go... I'm using right. the colours. Yeah. I'm using the colours, but when it says use colour A, I'm using what I think should come next. Yeah, yeah. well, that's, what, that's, it, that's, you know, that's good. So 
I don't know what's going to come for the lace because I've not worked out how it's... I've, not, I've just stopped working out what colours are going to oh, be no. next. Well, that's good then. So you're just going with it, which is sometimes so, good, isn't it? You're just going with it. I did think maybe an undyed or a silver because everything's so dark, that might be the way forward. Yes. But, but we'll see. I've got a long way to go and a hell of a lot of knitting before you I... Could even, you could even do it in grey and then you could maybe edge it. Don't shout at me. Because it does that, doesn't it? It's, it points. You could edge it in the pink. You could cut yeah. it up in the pink. I mean, you could you could almost do um, because it actually looks like you're probably not going to be able to see. Oh, can you even see the? Yeah. No. Oh. Down. 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 There. Yeah. You could it's... do that. Cast. You could cast it off in the pink. But it's also got like ridges. At like into third, so you could even do a row, a, a row of pink, a row of green, and a row of the navy to tie it all in. Yes, we'll see. Um, I don't know which one of us is frozen, oh, but we'll see. When we get there, I've got yeah. I've everything to choose from. That well, I did, nice. I did say I thought the rain might come. While we were doing this, and I wouldn't well, it get was out. forecast, wasn't it? That this is how it was going to be. I mean, it is a river outside, and it's been raining for about two minutes. I haven't actually got rain here yet, but I have had the thunder, so it's obviously heading our way. Um, so yeah, that's the Fabulosity by Casapinka. I am loving it, but I did that after I asked you all last week because I thought I've asked you. I really need to get it knit so I can show you all, and then it got put to one side. Saturday evening and then the mosaic and the sock have been time critical time so, critical um, and because it took me about an hour and a half to knit one row I just then um, put it away well I um, I just want to show you this Linda one of our um, sample knitters has re-knit the um, September sky shawl because we did have it in old yarn that we used to have because it's that long ago what's flying about is there something flying about or have I frozen you just... um, the, the telly was on on mute and, and it's just turned itself off so I thought we were having a power cut but the internet is still on at the minute right so I'll just show you this so Linda has re-knitted so in, this is our current wool that we use that we've been using for quite a while so um, it's beautiful so this now um, I've just put it on as a shawl pack on the, yeah. on the website so it's available as a shawl pack um it is really caroline's knitting. It's not a huge shawl either it's just a smallish store so so the pack comes with 100 grams of um pink sky um, and 50 grams of the navy and the denim so it's done in that colorway um set and it's for 34 pound and you get the digital pattern included in that um are you, she's looking like something's happening the thunder i'm just oh, waiting for so um, it is in these colourways on the, on the, that's the set. Um, but if you did want it in different colours, because we did one for Caroline in a different colourway, just drop us an email and we can sort it out. Um, but this is the original colours. And yeah. you'll see on the pattern that the reason in the pictures was it was the sky was this colour one day. And I yeah. just, just went with that. And it's, and it's a bit of a sampler because it's got lots of different stitches. I did, this was one of the, I did, um, Drops in the ocean first, and then this I think I think was my second shawl I did. So it was really like a bit of a test of lots of different textured stitches within it. Um, but it yeah, and it looked Caroline's doing it in yak. Yeah. It looked stunning. But because we've got the fifty grams now, we can do it in whatever colours yeah. you want. Yeah. I that would look really. I mean, maybe it's because I'm doing mine in like navies and brights. I think it would look really nice. With a navy or a midnight with a couple of brighter contrasts. Yeah. Probably even with you could use the multi, you could use um either puffin rainbow or um uh, what's the other bright colour one we've got? Neon lights. Neon lights, or what's the really bright multicoloured one that we've got? I can't uh, party popper. Could you use uh, party popper and then knock it back with like a the the midnight, couldn't you? Um uh, all it's yeah. just thunder everywhere, it's brilliant. I love a good storm. I like opening the windows when there's a storm. I love thunder and lightning. I could, um, oh, I can hear it. I love it. It is a, uh, it's a really nice, it's a really nice 
Sure, and I'm an sure oldie, an oldie but goodie. So it's yes. back on. We took it off the website for a while because we'd we kept show it. It needed to be shown in what what the proper wool was. So um, thank you, Lynn, for test knitting that. You did a perfect job as usual. Very quick, very efficient. And extremely neat. When Marie showed it to me, it was one of the first things I said. I'm just like, you're knitting so neat. It's very neat. You are a very neat knitter. I mean, Paul Linda does have to put up with a lot sometimes, you know. Sometimes I forget to send her the pattern. Depends what whether Marie's brain's in gear, you know. Oh, dear. Um, but that is, I've not got anything else to show. No, I, I don't think I have. I have it. I've got, I, I could have shown you the, the shawl that's... Um, that I finished, I could have shown you the mosaic section, but I won't because it's in the other room and probably by the time I go and get it, we could have all gone horribly wrong. So I think maybe we need to just quit while we're ahead today. So I, because I just think, I'm surprised I've still got power at the minute, so. Well, thank you everybody who's um, pre-ordered, and that was the other thing I meant to say, the Christmas thing is a pre-order. You know, yes. you order it now and you get it shipped out later. Um, so it, thank you to everybody who's ordered it so far. Um, I've, just, I've literally just looked and you've all gone bonkers. So yes. I, we hope you will like it as much as we do. So um, thank you very much for that, having some faith in us and supporting us. We do really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You. Um, so if there's nobody's got any burning questions, I just think, you know, we'd better go before... We have a as soon as we finish this, I might just go and take a little picture outside to see so you can see what it's like because it is absolutely bonkers. But it, the electricity stayed on long enough for us yeah. to get this done. So and I'm going to use the excuse of having a broken toe and um, the weather to get a lot of knitting done. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Right. Okay. See you Stay all later. Safe. Take care. Stay safe in all this weather. <laughs> <laughs>